Yeah, hello. Uh, in this discussion, uh, let us see how we can build a YouTube channel with Scrum. And within that, today we'll be addressing the theme uh, epics. So we have this channel, uh, uh, PMRI Campus, and uh, this is our vision was to create uh, a successful YouTube channel about project management, the subject we are passionate about. So we want to share our knowledge with the with whoever is interested to learn uh, project management best practices. Uh, that is, we are very passionate about it to share the emerging trends, existing best practices, and our experiences. So we are all highly experienced in the project management domain and still doing research. So we want to share it. That is the purpose of uh, our channel PMRI Campus. Now, uh, the status of our channel as on 15 July 2020, we have 1798 subscribers. Uh, actually, only 1000 uh, are required to monetize the channel. Uh, then uh, we have uh, only 933 public watch hours Actually, the requirement is 4,000 required to monetize the channel. Uh, so subscriber-wise, we are doing pretty well because we are ahead of uh, the requirements by uh, YouTube. Uh, whereas if you, based on the watch hours, we are lagging behind uh, and we need to improve by at least you know, 3,000 and odd hours. Uh, we need to gain viewership. Uh, only then we can monetize uh, this channel. And so far we have 131 videos. Uh, our immediate goal is to increase the watch hours to reach 4000. That is the immediate goal. Uh, the key root causes uh, for poor performance are uh, we don't have or we did not have a release plan. Um, so we never uh, released videos uh, based on a plan. So as and when uh, we we feel like uh, releasing a video, we used to do that. But then uh, we don't have a, a published steady plan uh, which the subscribers can uh, rely on. Uh, that is very much required. But unfortunately, we don't have a uh, we did not have a consistency in the delivery of uh, videos and sometimes that the channel was totally neglected also like we never posted anything for months together and then suddenly again we started reposting so that was a big issue because uh, the viewers expect consistency in the delivery of videos and not enough coverage of topics most of the time we were skewed to just one topic like the project management based on PMBOK, uh, uh, then we totally ignore uh, on the agile front. So that was creating a lot of uh, lot of loss of uh, viewership uh, because the moment you talk too much about uh, PMBOK or the project management body of knowledge, then the agile enthusiasts were losing interest or people who want to learn advanced project management concepts, they were losing interest. So that was an issue and we did not take any actions to promote the videos. All we did was we published the videos and then waited for organic growth. So we did not take any concrete action to market these videos uh, with the call for action and stuff like that. So that was a, that was a problem. And we also had a poor quality of the videos uh, like uh, the sound was not of uh, you know reasonably good quality lighting we neglected with whatever lighting we could get okay we used to do it and the content also sometimes uh, without much preparation ad hoc uh, or uh, impromptu uh, we used to you know record and uh, that was creating problems so towards that we improved the lighting now uh, we improved the voice quality to a great extent still there is room for improvement and uh, we have uh, we are doing our homework properly before recording the videos 
so there is a improvement in the content side as well uh, now typically now who are the users who are the users of this channel and what they want uh, user profiles are those who want to learn the basic project management the classical project management and they want to learn uh, the best practices from project management body of knowledge and Prince too. Then those who want to learn agile project management primarily Scrum and those who want to learn advanced project management like TCM, uh, RICS and maybe other emerging things. Uh, uh, then uh, those who are preparing for certifications, their focus is only to get certifications like PMP, CSM, uh, PSM and all those things uh, and then uh, we get people who are very you know domain specific like construction project managers who want to learn more about construction project management and then we get IT project managers who want to learn more about IT project management using agile and uh, YouTube channel builders uh, again they, they want to learn how to really build a product uh, which is their YouTube channel using uh, Agile. So this is our user profiling uh, and uh, once we did the user profiling that helped us to identify the the epics. So the epics are uh, the major chunks uh, of the knowledge uh, areas we want to focus uh, to release our future videos. Um, so we have, uh, we will be releasing things on PIMBOK, TCM, Total Cost Management, Scrum, I will be focusing on certifications, we will be focusing on tools and techniques as well. Then the RIC standard, Prince2 standard, uh, building information, modeling and uh, safe agile and Kanban and outsourcing and IT project management and advanced project management so if you if you ask us to estimate this we don't know because these are that's why we call it as epics epics are very very high level requirements uh, which need to be broken down further in order to estimate so at least we know that okay these are going to be our strengths and these are going to be our focus areas so epics are uh, very high level requirements which need further decomposition to understand the amount of work involved. So whenever we start developing a new product, our first focus is to define the epics. Um, so if you are, if you are looking at uh, a web application, uh, let us say for example, so epic can be the payment module. So a payment module we will not be able to uh, estimate. Um, so within payment module, it has to be decomposed further uh, like the credit card payments, the cash card payments, uh, uh, the payment through gateways like Google Pay and stuff stuff like that. Then within credit card, you know, Visa, uh, MasterCard, etc. Then comes the multi-currency. Uh, then if a payment uh, failure happens, what do you do? So uh, refund policy so all these things need to multi currencies all these things need to be worked out so payment processing remains as an epic uh, whereas all these things we discuss now uh, th those things becomes user stories so epics gets decomposed further into user stories so in our case pimbok is an epic or videos related to pimbok is an epic because we don't know how many videos uh, similarly, TCM, uh, still we don't know how many videos. Scrum, still we don't know how many. So these are our epics for uh, for the future. Uh, now here, uh, one, the, one of the, the product uh, manager's dilemma are uh, how to release uh, these videos. Even if we decide to release videos based on all these epics, now, how do we plan those releases? Uh, I have one option that is focus on one single epic, maybe focus only on Scrum and then release all the videos pertaining to Scrum in one stream, maybe in next three months time. Uh, that is one option. Uh, the uh, advantage with that option is, okay, now people with specific interest in Scrum 
will be subscribing to the module and they will get a tangible output once you complete uh, we can release a playlist pretty fast uh, of let's say uh, maybe 10 videos or 20 videos in a playlist and once they watch all those videos um, they would have have they would have gained sufficient knowledge to practice uh, the scrum in their day-to-day -day work but the problem here is if we focus on a single epic now our viewership for uh, pimbok though they will they will not be very happy because after some time they will stop visiting this channel people focusing on certifications like pmp and uh, you know prince2 and all those things okay they will be disappointed uh, the tcm uh, focus guys will get disappointed so if you focus on single epic uh, people with interest in other epics those viewers may uh, we may lose them uh, that is a problem by focusing on single epic uh, and releasing the videos uh, for that epic now another option is okay we can focus on multiple epics uh, concurrently then okay we have bandwidth issues uh, at the best uh, maybe we can we can release uh, five video four to five videos uh, per week uh, uh, but then still uh, this five videos uh, can should I release all the five under scrum or all the five under Pimbok uh, what is the proportion uh, should should we de release it concurrently then what is the proportion so all these things need to be worked out so that is the that is a necessity uh, that is that, that that is what we exactly do in release planning um, so how are we going to release it but then it is too early now because we only know the epics now these epics need to be now again uh, decomposed into uh, features slash stories uh, after that only because uh, each story uh, is more like in our case while building the YouTube channel each story is like you know uh, is uh, synonymous with one video like what is the topic uh, and uh, what is the content what is that we are going to cover what is the value we'll be delivering and what is the quality standard for that video so only then uh, we can plan it out so epic level it is a decision like single epic versus a multiple epic that is a big decision uh, at the same time because we are talking things from the perspective of delivering value to the viewers so this is a big big dilemma for uh, product managers uh, a decision between single epic versus multiple epics concurrent releases uh, and then uh, before release planning we need to decompose these things into stories so that we can do uh, uh, release planning uh, so what I've done is okay uh, I got into Jira uh, I got into the free version so you can go to jira.com register there and then uh, register for a free version uh, and then uh, I created a project the project name is uh, PMRI campus that is our uh, YouTube video channel name as well and I created a backlog of uh, epics so whatever we saw in the previous slide I created a backlog now I'll be decomposing these things further into stories um, then we'll be doing the uh, release planning and then we'll be getting into sprint planning as well uh, so the next video we will focus on decomposing uh, the epics into stories uh, and then estimating those stories and then how to put uh, those things onto uh, Jira. Uh, the advantage of having a plan like this is uh, a, a YouTube creator can get more focused uh, because if you're serious uh, only we can get enough traffic to uh, make some revenue out of uh, uh, YouTube and that is the uh, that is the policy of YouTube also so on, only serious uh, uh, YouTube channel creators uh, need to be there uh, so that is their policy as well so if you are pretty serious about creating a YouTube channel uh, the best thing would be uh, 
follow Scrum uh, and maybe use uh, the free version of Jira along with it. Uh, and uh, we will take you through all the necessary steps uh, to do it. Uh, so, so if you have a product idea, the first thing you do is uh, please identify the epics. Or first thing is you you think about the users who are going to use it, and what are things they are they, they you know high level epics. Then you, it's easy to identify. Uh, in the next video, uh, as discussed, we'll come out with uh, decomposing these epics into stories. So, thank you. Thank you very much.